<clears throat> Proverbs chapter 16, verse 11. A just weight and balance are the Lord powers. All the weights of the bag are his work. New Living Translation, right here inside of your screen. The Lord power demands accurate scale and balances. He sets the standards for fairness. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kahakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well, who teach this gospel and push this gospel to the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and their freedoms to do so, especially in these times. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, the 144,000, the brethren, the apostles, the elder bishops, the brothers, great millstone, and its students and its followers. Shalom. The time now is 6.01 Eastern Standard Time. Um, and it is February the 11th, a Sunday evening. Right before that great Roman game is played in the big Coliseum. The Super Bowl. Okay, um, I will tune in and tune out. Because this is a good time to be reading. And furthering our education. Which means our elder Yashawan Ba. In a video, um, I just watched a video earlier this evening, and he said he looked up the word educate, which means to draw out with that which is in you, to draw out, okay? In other words, draw out, drawn from water means uh, represent slavery in the scriptures, right? Pursuant to Judges chapter 5, verse 11. But anyway, I just seen, I'm looking at CNN right now in my home, and there's a breaking news, and it says, Houston police. Five-year-old in critical condition after shooting at Joel Osteen's mega church. Now let's see him now. Joel Osteen is he an Israelite? Nope. Okay, and his church is mixed up with non-Israelites and Israelites, but some are Israel pursuant to their spirit, pursuant to Romans chapter nine, verse one through seven. We'll expound greater on that. The Bible says the Lord draws nigh to those who have a broken, poor, contrite spirit. Contrite means broken heart. Let's get that as well. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 15. I only have about five or six scriptures, so this will be a rather short one. I have a video that's uploading on my channel right now, which is the actual uh, news briefing where Joe Osteen and the police chief, um, I'm assuming he's the police chief, uh, Mr. Finner, F-I-N-N-E-R, had spoken to the press a little tidbit of what was happening and what they had hoped for. And, but there's something that he said in his in his excerpt briefing, the pastor, that just sparked me to do a video to prove that what he was saying is not correct according to Scripture. We know that in Christianity, people really don't read the scripture. They just deliver a good message. And what's good to them is never good to the Lord because they ain't never just right, upright, or nothing. Because Jehovah by Shimon Shah tells us, as this is a den of thieves. You know, I think that's Matthew 6, 24, and we'll get that next. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. And Mammon is what? Uh, personal wealth as opposed to God. So that never works right. And maybe this will spawn out and spark a few other videos I can do to bring that out and keep them as short as possible, okay? I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, B'Shem, 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 Yahweh is the name of our Father, our Creator in ancient Hebrew, who the word refers to as God. Psalm 965 tells us the gods of other nations are idols, for they cannot speak, talk, walk, they cannot arise, they cannot teach, they cannot arise, they can't walk, they can't. What the hell? What kind of God is that? Hello? This one a damn pole just stuck there. That's called a graven image. A graven image is made with man's hands. The Lord did not make the Lord made us, He made this earth, and that we are His. We belong to Him, pursuant to Deuteronomy 7 and 6 and Deuteronomy 32 and 9. Okay. Now let's continue on. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15 Okay 
Let's uh, read in the New Living Translation right here inside of your screen. Well, actually, I'll read the King James Version for those of you who have a hard time understanding the King James Version. The more you read, the more it will make sense to you, but you got to continue to read. Seek you out the book and read. Revelation 1 and 3, bless he that readeth and keepeth all that's contained in this letter of prophecy. Got to read. Okay, let's continue. For thus said the high and lofty one that inhabiteth in her eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and lofty place. It's lucky. I dwell in the high and holy place with him that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Okay, now, let's read the right-hand side. The high and lofty one who lives in eternity, the Holy One says this, I live in the high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those with repentant hearts. So well, that heart means mind. The word repent means to turn back, to say, Lord, I'm sorry that I've been doing this the way I've been doing it. I thought I was right. I knew it didn't make no damn sense to me. Christianity that is. They say one thing, they do another. Nobody can ever explain anything to me when I ask the pastor. He give me a whole bunch of crap. He don't never answer my damn question. And I said I had the same question. When I asked him a question, I walked with him more questions. So the Yahweh Shimon Shai begs us to return back unto him. Let's get that as well. Turn, as in return. As you see on the right-hand side of your screen, I'm reading the left-hand side, King James. Turn, as in return, O backsliding children, said the Lord Power. I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you back unto Zion. So the people who are in Israel right now, they didn't wait on the Lord to take them back. They went over there on their own, so they cannot possibly be the children of Israel. Ain't none of them there with no damn slavery now. Oh, hell to the now. Hey, hello. I know my great-great-granddaddy was a slave. I know that for a fact. Now, who are the children of Israel? Let me put it this way. No man can walk in the hot ass desert for 33 years and still be the color of raw chicken skin. Hello. I know I've done push a button with that one. <laughs> Didn't I? Lies. <laughs> oh, Isaiah 58 and 3, the wicked is strange from the wound speaking lies. Let's get that as well since we brought it up. Hmm. <sighs> So, um, mm, I think it'll be a long list. I only have about, I only have four scriptures on, five scriptures on my comic book. Let's get that as well. Psalm 58 and 3. Let's get it. Let's, let's, let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. And right, New Living Child, these wicked people are, for, are born sinners. Even from birth, they have lied and gone their own way. Who them people there? That them people that look like raw chicken skin? Mm hmm Yes, you can find out more about them in Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Look at the people on the side walls. They're running, Lord, they're running. They, they, them people is running just like them same people running on 9-11. When the building's coming down, yeah, when people went by, like, beep, beep, <laughs> damn. But you trust in your faith, in your God, that he will protect you. It, 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 the faith must have ran out the back door, and you were out the front. That what happened? Oh, okay. Let's continue on. I'm going to get a little bit more serious. I'm going to cut out with all the jokes and stuff. Now, let's cover these two scriptures right here now. Um, let's look at Amos 3 and 6. That's all I'm going to do. Is read the scriptures and you figure out whether or not what he said was actually accurate or not. Okay. He said the forces of evil are upon us, but we don't care about the forces of evil because the forces of God's good, better grace or the forces of the love of God is greater. Are they really greater? Let's see. That's why we start with Proverbs 16 and 11. The bags of the wheat are equal. So what the Lord does on the right-hand side is the righteous side. He's going to do on the wicked side. Everything is always balanced. So it's not one more greater than. 
So always balance. If you can understand it, receive it. If not, continue to press on in the knowledge of the truth, and it will start to make sense to you, Lord willing, with his spirit and with the spirit of understanding upon you, okay? Let's get Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? So who, who wait a minute now, hold on, 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 hold on. Let, let's, let's check down the left hand, right hand side of the screen. When the ram's horn blows a warning, shouldn't the people be alarmed? Does disaster come to a city unless the Lord had planned it? What? Sounds to me like pass on what the hell you talking about. No, could pass it on read. Uh, pass it on understand this Bible. It's not for him. It's for you, the children of Israel, the humble, poor, and contrite, broken-hearted spirits of the house of Israel. This this Yahweh Shemeshah is our brethren. He's our king. He's the mighty one. He's, he's the everlasting father. Isaiah 9 and 6. Read that scripture. He shall be called thy wonderful, thy great counselor, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Let's get it. I'm here. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called the Wonderful, capital W, Counselor, capital C, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Hello? Let's get another one. This head really going to blow your mind. If you think it don't too blow your mind, let's get this one in. Look, now this is the Lord speaking. By way of Isaiah, I form the light. John 8 and 12 expounds greater into that. John chapter 8, verse 12. I form the light and create darkness. What? Wait a minute now. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's that balance, that just ways. 5 verse 6 and 11. What he does on the right-hand side, the righteous, the just side, he's going to also balance it accurately on the left-hand side, which is the wicked side, the evil side. The side of darkness, right? I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, power do these things because the people who are in the who are in the stance of the evil, the Lord created them people. The Lord gave them their thoughts to do what they do. And the Lord is allowing and watching over his word to perform it pursuant to Jeremiah 1 and 5. The Lord is doing all these things at one time. If you're in the right spot with the right mind state, with the right things, doing the right things, no evil will come upon you, but if you're not here, you just in the wrong damn place, the wrong damn time, and some shit go down, and you just get got. That's just all that is. Okay? I have another scripture I want to look up right quick. But let's go here. Let's go here. Deuteronomy. 32. 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. What? So there was a five-year-old boy who shot. He's wounded right now. So who did that? Hello? Who did that? Yeah, however, Shemyam Shai had ordained it. We got two scriptures that we're going to end up with, and we're going to see that Yahweh Shemyam Shai has declared from the end from the beginning. He has pronounced your doom. He has pronounced who will be saved from the eternal, from the destruction coming upon Babylon the Great. Because who will repent, who won't? It's already been planned before before, before this day. It's, all, it's been written already, okay? Now, let's get one more. Um... Get one more. Let's go here. Let's go to First Chronicles. I had a scripture on my mind, but it keeps escaping me. So when it comes back, I will upload it in the video. Um, I'll put it in the description box on the comment board so you will see what that scripture is. Um, let's just do this. Lion Spirit.
Here it is right there. It's in the book of Kings, but it's also in the book of Chronicles. See, and it's going to say the same exact thing. If you have not known anything about it, then you know now. First Kings 22 and Second Chronicles. Okay, let's go to this one first. Okay. Let's go back to the 18th verse. I'm going to read it in the New Living Translation so you can see how, how it's really... I'm, I'm going to read it. I usually would read it in the King James, but I have... Uh, in fact, let's read this one here in the King... James version, we'll catch the second one in the in the New Living Translation. It's the same scripture. Okay, it's not the same scripture, but it's a different scripture portraying a similar thought. Start the 18th verse. And Ramoth Gilead is a battle. Okay, so we want to cover that up front. Second Kings chapter 22, verse 18. And the king of Israel said unto Yahweh Shapat. Yahweh was we are called by his name. Shapat means decision making. So this is the battle of decision making, making decisions on who will prosper and who shall be killed and ended. Okay, so to speak, for this, for this, for what we're reading on. Let's just understand that, then we can understand what, what the scripture is saying according to what the way that it is written and what it's written about. Okay, verse eighteen. And the king of Israel said unto Yahweh Shapat. Did I not tell these that did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? Verse 19. And he said, Hear you, therefore the word of the Lord power. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So the Lord is sitting on his throne. The Lord power, our Father, our Creator. Okay? And on the left-hand side is the left-hand side spirits, which are the wicked angels. The lion is stealing all the wicked, evil angels that bring about those catastrophes and those deaths and whatnot. Okay, they're on the left-hand side. The righteous, upright, just, correct spirits, according to the Lord Powell, are on the right-hand side. Those are the host of heaven. Host of means angels, messengers, okay? Because this thing is all spiritual now, you know, we... The Hobbesham Shah says, when I return, I will not meet thee as a man. No, because he was a man the first time he was here in the flesh. But now he's coming back as a messenger, a spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of hope, the spirit of mercy and truth and grace. That's how he's coming back this time. So all things are now spiritual. So we must explain things the way they are at face value, but we must also transpond those ideas and thoughts in the spirit so you can understand that all things are now spiritual. Behold, all things are now spiritual. Okay, let's continue. Verse 20. And the Lord power said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at the battle of Ramoth Gilead, Gilead, which is a battle. It's like a war. Okay, and one said on this manner, and one said, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit, and stood before the Lord power, and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said, said unto him, Where are we? Like, how are you going to do that? What do you got playing? Okay, and he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all of his prophets. And he said, You shall persuade him. And prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now watch this. Verse 23. Let's catch it in the New Living Translation so you can understand it very well without doubt. So you see, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouths of all of your prophets, for the Lord has pronounced your doom. Check that out. This is what the Lord and the angels were doing before anybody was ever created on this earth. They, was, they, they, they were mapping out your journey. The Lord says, he, the, Yahweh Shem Shah goes ahead of us to make our crooked path straight. Okay? He says, there will be no gal in our mouth. So he's, he's already going from the day you woke up to now the truth. So to Hosea 6 and 2, after two days, I will revive them and raise them up, and they shall stand upon their feet and live in his sight Okay, on the third day. And we are approaching the third day right now because the day in the Lord is as a thousand years. Well, right now, they tell you it is 2023. 20, 
But if a third day, let's get that. If a third day is a thousand years, let's get it right quick. Okay, look at it now. See that? That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. So if the Lord is going to come back on the third day, then that's year 3,000. Well, we don't have that. Lord. Right now, the Lord is speeding time up for the sake of the elect. He's shortening the days pursuant to Matthew 24. So that's why it seems like the years and months are going by so goddamn fast. Because he's speeding time up so that all these things will have happened and all these problems will come to pass. And the Lord is going to return on the third day. So where do you think we at right now? You think we at 2023? You no, know, we're more like 2065 right now. You know, that's why there was a, the wicked side, the left-hand side had a website called America2050.com. That's what they had a set of things that they wanted, they, they wanted to have accomplished by 2050. And they are working on those things right now, as we know. The Karagma and the AI, yeah, the transhumanism theories, and, and not theories, but they are really trying to make that come to pass, okay? Trying to play God. But thank goodness for Joel 5 and 12, for those of you who know what that, what that is. And he says, he disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, which is worldwide slavery all over again. They are not in the position to do that. They're trying to play God on earth, just like the Lord, Yahweh, Shemeshah, sent the children of Israel into slavery. They're trying to be God on earth and trying to send the whole world into slavery and run and control people. And the Lord is not going to allow that to happen. The Lord is going to bust through and just break up all their chess pieces. I mean, what? Who? Okay, now, as you can see here, Verse 8, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but it is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. Okay? Now, the next scripture we're going to cover is our last scripture, which is Second Kings. Let's go back and get it. Second Chronicles. will be done. Okay. Oh, let's just do this. Sometimes it, I don't know, it'd be kind of, it's not tricky, but sometimes I get them confused with that. Okay. Now, let's go 18. All right, <clears throat> verse 18, 2 Chronicles 18 and 18. Again, he said, therefore, hear the word, Lord Power. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right and on his left hand. And the Lord says, who shall entice, entice, as in soliciting, who shall entice, <laughs> who who, let's read the, uh, I'm going to say where I'm at, you read the right hand side. Let's read the right hand side this time. The right, right hand side. And the Lord said, who can entice King Ahab of Israel to go into battle against Ramoth Gilead so he can be killed? What? Remember now, Isaiah 45, 7, I make peace and create evil. Okay, let's continue on. All right, Amos 3 and 6, 6. If, if the trumpet sounds in the city, not the people here, if there is evil in the city, have not the Lord power done it? He did it. Because he is controlling the left and the right hand side, the wicked, evil side on the left, and the just, right, righteous, upright side on the right. He controls all things. Everything is balanced. That's why I start with Proverbs 16 and 11 as well. Because it, it really lets us know that the Lord is in control of the left hand energy and the right hand energy at all times. Remember, Satan works for the Lord. He's not against the Lord. He is a son of God. Remember that now. The Lord created the devil, and he created evil. Did he not say that in Isaiah 4, 5, and 7? 
when you when, when you get with these scriptures, it'll start to blur out that which you've learned in Christianity, and Christianity won't even make no damn sense to you no more. It ain't never made sense to me. I just went along to get along because grandma was over there with them damn mints and shit, them candies in her pocketbook, and she had that damn belt. Well, I tell you what, my cousins get that damn belt all the time. Pa pa pa. I I sit by grandma and I just look at the belt. And the words and songs I didn't know, I sing and clap and get the tambourine and everything. <laughs> grandma got some damn cookies for me and some damn brownies when I get to grandma house after church. <laughs> okay, that's all I knew. But as I got older, it started making no more and more or less sense to me. So let's go now. Okay, let's read that scripture again. Verse 19, the Lord Paul said, who can entice King Ahab of Israel to go into battle against Ramoth Gilead so he can be killed? Question mark. There were many suggestions. And finally, the Spirit approached the Lord Power and said, I can do it. How will you do this? The Lord Power asked. And the Spirit replied, I will go out and inspire all of Ahab's prophets to speak lies. And watch this. You will succeed. And, and said the Lord Power, go ahead and do it. Verse 22. So you see, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouths of your, of your prophets, but the Lord has pronounced your doom. Any questions, please place them on the comment board, and I will, uh, I will post the scriptures that will help you better understand, if it is the Lord's will that you understand it. Now, I hope this lesson at the has come to the honor and power of Yahweh, B'Shem, Shah, B'Shem, Kadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostle great millstone who rule well, peace, and salutations all for the house of Israel. Please note that the new moon came in on Friday the 9th. Um, it came in at sundown on that evening and it ended on Saturday evening. So our next Sabbath is going to start at sundown on Friday, February the 16th into the 17th, okay? All right? Till the next one. Shalom.